have prepared beakers of NH3 and HCl. We also have Q-tips with clay and we will dip them into the NH3 and HCl. Now we insert the cubes in the opposite ends of the tube. A ring should form where the two gases meet. Because ammonia travels faster than HCl, the ring should form closer to the HCl. Lighter gases have higher effusion rates. We measure the distance from the Q-tip to the ring for both ammonia and HCl. Here's our data for the Graham's Law lab. The time that it took for the ammonia and hydrochloric acid to react was 71.58 seconds. The distance from the hydrochloric acid Q-tip to the ring was 10.00 centimeters, and the distance from the ammonia Q-tip to the ring was 13.87 centimeters. Now let's calculate the rate of hydrochloric acid and ammonia. So to find the rate, we do we use the equation rate equals distance over time, which is 10.00 centimeters over 71.58 seconds, which is 0.1397 centimeters per second for the rate of hydrochloric acid, and repeated the same process for ammonia. Now next, we're going to find the rate of NH3 over the rate of hydrochloric acid, which is 1.387. Now we must compare that to the accepted rate and to calculate that we use Graham's law equation so we do the molar mass of HCl divided by the molar mass of ammonia and we take the square root of that quotient which comes out to 1.463 the error of our experiment was negative 0.076 and the percent error of our experiment was 5.2 percent